guys, welcome back. I'm Ken Rogers and we are mostly outdoors. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been a little while. Uh, life's been a little crazy. Time is short, but uh, today we're back. Uh, I don't know when this is going to air, but uh, it is Independence Day today and I'm going to cook up a batch of super easy, super tasty chicken wings and I'm going to do it on the Weber kettle. Let's get prepped and I'll show you the process. So I have two packages of these. Gonna have too much. Pick these up at our Myers grocery store. So we're gonna have way too much, but hey, we, I love leftovers and I love wings, so it'll be okay. Okay guys, I am going to keep the, the drumette and the flat, but I am gonna get rid of this flapper here or tip or whatever you wanna call it. Let's find that joint. Simply take it off. That's how I'm gonna cook this, just like that. All right guys, this is a really simple recipe. Uh, I'm just gonna put on here just a very light coat of uh, my uh, just salt, pepper, garlic, SPG. It's a simple blend, uh, I say it's mine. It's, it's one I got from, oh, who was it? Uh, I think James over at Amo McLean with Smokers, his blend is a 4 to 1 ratio. Uh, rather than get into it, I'm just going to put a link up above uh, of his video where he describes it. And I've used it, uh, I've used many variations, but his 4 to 1 ratio, salt, pepper, garlic, is probably the, my favorite. So take a look at it. And I'm just going to put a very light coat on these, both sides. The next step is going to be killer. Just a little there, and I'm gonna flip them over and do the same thing. All right, folks, just got a couple, uh, I've got three if I need it, I don't know. Uh, just some gallon uh, Ziploc bags. I'm gonna place these in here and get ready for the next step. However many we need, we're gonna use them. And our big marinade. Is it zesty Italian dressing? Uh, I'm using Kraft. I'm actually using fat-free, and I don't really know why I'm using fat-free. Uh, just one my hand touch first. So I'm just going to equal this up into three bags. I'm going to put them in the fridge for a few hours, uh, two or three hours, and the next time we see you, we'll be out at the grill. My goodness, it is so hot out here. I think it's currently 94 here in Louisville, Kentucky. With the heat index, we're right at 102 and very sticky. Good old Kentucky in the weather. Let's get this thing fired up and get some wings on. It's been resting about three hours, three and a half hours. So, uh, see what happens. All right, I think we are about ready. Let's set up a little two-zone fire. almost always use a two zone far for most of my cooking especially barbecuing should be good right there get this grate on and get us up to temperature Woo, that is hot I am shooting for a target range cooking at about uh, 350, 375. I expect this to go all the way up to right at 400 until I get the food on. Should come back down once the food is on. Got the bottom vent uh, about halfway. Top vents are about a quarter of the way. Let's see where we get, see what we can get our temperature up to. I'm pegging right at just below 450. Uh, that will drop once this food gets on there, but. Uh, I'm going to adjust it a little bit, see if we can get it down just at least down to 400, which I think we'll be at once we start cooking. Alright guys, here we go. We are up to temp. I honestly don't know if I can get this all on here. We're going to try. Cook as much as we can and we'll do another round. I'm going to have to do two rounds of cooking on this. We are going to add a little hickory. Get a little hickory smoke going on here as well. All right, we've been on here for a few. I'm gonna get these flipped over. 
I will be going direct heat here in just a bit. I just want to get some little bit of smoke on them. A little cooking done. I want to make sure the chicken's done on the inside, of course. It is so hot, I have to stand back away from this just to keep from sweating on the food. Crazy. Looking up and down the street, being 4th of July. The normal people I see having cookouts are very quiet. I see cars, but I don't see people. It tells me that they're all inside in the air conditioning. To be honest, I am too, <laughs> for the most part. I'm gonna try to check a few little temps here, just to see. Yeah, we're kicking, we're getting up close. It's, get back here on the back side. We're going over some direct heat and see if we can't get these things charred up and get some skin nice and crispy. Do what we can. I seldom ever fry wings. To me, this is the way to go. I may even come out here and throw the other batch on back here to offset. We'll see. Get it started. Alright, let's see if we can do some flipping here. I'm gonna have to open up some vents now. It's alright though, everything's looking good. Love this char going on. I like it. Come back in a minute and move them some more. I'm gonna open up some vents since we got more food on there. We're going about three quarters of the way open on the bottom. Get some get some heat moving. It's time. Got more food on here. I didn't do that on camera, I don't think. Alright guys, first batch is coming off, or a good chunk of them anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that on there. We are talking. I'm gonna leave it on there for just another minute. Done there. Take these in and tin them. And I'll move the other batch over on the fire. I'll finish up this second batch. When we come back, uh, we'll go in and do a taste. Oh, would you look at there. Let's get a taste of this. All right, guys, have I mentioned it is super hot outside? It is, I think with the heat index, it's around 102, 103, somewhere here in Louisville. Uh, so I'm back inside in the AC. I'm going to finish this video up. I do want to show you uh, the dipping sauces I'm using. I seldom glaze when I'm cooking on the grill like that. I love the smoke flavor, and I generally have multiple people here and I, I don't want to glaze. and sometimes I do something specific but tonight I just I, I grilled them I marinated them and uh, we went that route and quite simply I, I got three options for everyone here at the house tonight uh, one of my favorite is, is a buffalo sauce a sweet baby rock I love this stuff it's not super hot but it's got a little kick there not too bad uh, for the younger ones I got an option of either just uh, sweet baby rays hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce um, I've got little containers we can put that in and uh, and quite simply a very mild and also one of my favorites just a simple uh, creamy ranch dressing I, I use it a dipping sauce all day long the smoke is great I'm gonna be doing it here let's get a taste of one of these ribs or I keep saying ribs one of these wings check this out guys oh, can you see that that is beautifully Got some little hickory smoke in there. Simply gonna break it open. Mm. Tear it flat up. I want to get a taste here with that with nothing on it. That zesty Italian dressing, man, I tell you, it comes through. With the char from the cooking over the grill. Perfect. 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 I love it. Going here on the drumstick, I'm gonna pull in. Mm, that's finger licking right there. Little the buffalo, buffalo sauce. Mm. 
If you haven't tried uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Sauce, it's it's fantastic. It's, it's not real harsh. It's not real hot. It does have a kick. I'll put it in the mild. I'll put it in the mild range. Perfect. Perfect for barbecuing. One more. I'm not going to do barbecue sauce though. Hickory Brown. It, it's really, it's good. It, it's pretty mild. I'll stick to the ranch or the uh, buffalo sauce. But with the uh, ranch, good stuff right here. Good stuff, guys. Just try this. Try this technique. It's really easy. You got your SPG uh, and, and your zesty Italian seasoning. Uh, it kicks off. It's very easy. It's very simple. Let it marinate for about two or three hours. Go over your barbecue grill. Uh, I do an offset cook, so I have my temperature control. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hey, if you have not already, please subscribe. Uh, I haven't been around in a while. Uh, I'm coming back. I have two channels. I'll link the other one over here down below. That one's probably going to be inactive for a while longer. It's just my current life situation. and I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not even upset about it. It's just where it's at. I'm bringing you back more cooking videos. Hopefully we're going to be doing some uh, camp cooking and whatnot in the very near future. So please subscribe. Hit that like button. And folks, God love you. Uh, this will be after Independence Day. But uh, happy birthday, America. Love this, uh, and we'll see you soon.